What you guys got another video here for you on how to reduce fan noise on your PC and make your PC run a lot more silent. Now it's a common um, trait with modern day PCs where we have a lot more fans inside the computer and these spinning at full uh, revs per minute can make the uh, computer sound like an airport. So what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, control these fans and make sure that we uh, turn them down using the smart technology that's built into a lot of modern day motherboards. Now we've got the MSI Arsenal Gaming uh, system here which we're going to be using their fan controller which I find MSI's fan controller to be probably one of the best out there. So what we're going to do is uh, take a look and how we can set this up to make the system run a lot more quieter when you're sitting idle and uh, ramp it up when it needs to when you're doing say gaming or when you're rendering uh, videos out so let's go ahead and take a look at how we can uh, do this on this uh, motherboard here now MSI have a management tool which you can log into from your desktop so it can control the uh, fans from the uh, sort of BIOS level really from your desktop which is quite nice it means you don't have to log into the BIOS every single time and set it up inside the BIOS even though you can do that inside the BIOS if you wish, you can just set it up uh, via the app here. Now to be able to control your fans from the desktop, you would need to make sure that you get the MSI app manager from the motherboard manufacturer's website, or you can use the CD that comes with the motherboard if you're still using the uh, DVD-ROM drive on your computer. But modern day computers seem to uh, miss those uh, DVD-ROM drives out now they don't really need them and uh, but if you're still using them, you can still install it from that method uh, but if not you can go to the website and download it and it will probably be the same for most of the motherboard manufacturers which will probably have an app similar to this one here so let's open it up and take a look now the one we need to go into here is the command center and there's a bunch of other stuff inside here which we can cover in other videos but we're going to go into the command center and this will give us control of our fans from the desktop and our CPU and our RAM as you can see here. Now you can see on the side here we have CPU fan 1 and this is because it's plugged into the port and you can see the um, temperatures here of the CPU. Now we've got manual mode and we have silent mode and we're on silent mode so that's what I want to do here and I want to set this up so the computer can control it and it will uh, ramp it up and down whenever it needs it. You've got the system fans on here as well, which you can control via this method. There's also a fan tune here, which you can click on and it will analyze the system and it will try to fine tune uh, the fan curve here to find out what your system requirements are needed to keep it nice and cool. And you can see here the system fan revs per minute on the left hand side is at 805 revs per minute. Now, obviously you can have this ramped up a lot more to a higher revs per minute but obviously the more higher it goes the more fan noise you're going to get inside your room which can be quite disturbing when you're trying to record and stuff like that so you can see here this will take some time for it to analyze the system and it will give you a zero percent to hundred percent range and also it will give you the temperatures there as well so the speed and temperatures will be uh, on the sidebar there so you can see at the bottom we have celsius and on the left hand side going up there, there will be the uh, speed of the fan as well which is going to be at 30 percent 20 percent and so on and it will analyze and find a nice even curve now this does take a bit of time so you have to be patient here um, but it does give you a pretty accurate um, fan curve that you may need and you can tweak it once it's done its uh, analyzing of your system now remember we're just analyzing the system fans here and we're just letting that run now obviously you don't want these all running at 100% all the time because uh, yes you will have a very cool PC uh, but you're also going to have a very noisy PC. Now once that's done it may shut down here so what I'm going to do here is quickly open this back up. There we go. Let's just put it down to the taskbar there. So I'm going to quickly have a look here and save this. So you can see a nice curve here and we do have four little dots here. This one's at 68%. At 828 revs per minute and you can see it will fluctuate and you can see that little white dot floating around in the middle here 
Now this is 100% and 82%. These are the top ones here, 80 Celsius and it'll run at 100%, 82% at 64 Celsius, 68% and also 50%. So it won't go below 50% on those system fans. So depending on what you want to set yours at, you can do. And we're on CPU fan one here and the system fans are over here. So you can change the system fans and also the CPU cooler as well. So these are the system fan and you've got system fan two if it's being used. System fan three is being used and system fan four is being used also. And you can fine tune these or you can manually move them yourself. It's entirely up to you how you set these up. And if you go in manual mode here, you will be able to pull these little levers down. Even on smart mode, you can just tweak them yourself just by a little bit if you want to do that by moving them up and down to the percentage and also uh, for the temperature, depending on where you want to put this, okay? And it won't save those features until you hit save. And that's pretty much it. You can set those up to get a nice uh, even fan curve. Now, obviously, you don't want to be turning down your CPU fan because uh, if you do, uh, then you're going to be obviously running into high temps. But you can see here we're getting 0% of the fan running here. So you can have, a, have it turned off or turn it on. I wouldn't advise you to turn the uh, CPU cooler off at all because you're going to end up overheating the CPU. But if your system fans, you can tweak these to whatever you like here by moving it about. So what you'll see here is the fans spinning up and then stopping. And this is quite normal when it's going through its analyzing process. And uh, what this will do is it will spin up and start to uh, set the uh, fan arc to the way it needs to be. And of course, what this is gonna do is set different intervals for your fans, whether it will be the CPU or the system fans, whatever you're setting up. Now, once you've got the perfect uh, setup for yourself, what will happen is it will set intervals for those fans to spin up at higher revs per minute. Now, what that means is when the computer is idle and it's not working that hard, the fan speeds will uh, slow up and it won't be spinning so fast, which means it's gonna be a lot quieter. When you're gaming and you need as much airflow as possible, uh, the fans will probably start to spin up and also you'll probably see uh, the fan spin up is highest when you're doing rendering and stuff like that so basically this is the whole idea of setting up your nice fan curve inside uh, the msi motherboard as you can see here you've got a bunch of other settings you can mess around with here inside here inside the command uh, center you can control your cpu if you want to overclock from here you can do you've also got your dram and a bunch of other settings you can mess with your game boost and things like that. We're not going to cover that in this video, but if you did want to, you could change your RAM speeds all from the desktop of your computer. No needs to go into the BIOS. You can do it all from here, which is very, very useful. And that's pretty much it. That's basically how you can set up your fan curve to make your system run a lot more efficient and a lot more quieter at times when you don't need the fans running at full tilt. The problem is if you leave them just in the PWM uh, port on the board, they are going to run at the maximum revs per minute, which is your RPM, which means the system will be running at full tilt and it will be very loud. And of course, the fans will be running at full speed. And also you would have the CPU fan running at full speed. Now, some people don't mind this and they just have this like this all the time. But me, it's really, really loud and I don't like it. And I prefer to have it at a much more quieter uh, level when I'm not using it at its maximum capacity. So it's going to depend on what you're trying to do if you're overclocking of course and you've got an air cooler rather than a water cooled system then obviously you're going to need to have that cpu cooler running at its maximum capacity because you want to get as much airflow running across the chip as possible and getting rid of that heat uh, but if you're not an overclocker and you're just running at stock speeds then having it running at full tilt is not really necessary at all times, especially when you're idle. You can have the fan speed running at a much lower speed because you don't need to. And the, the way that that fan system works is it will control, the smart fan controller will take control of how much airflow needs to be put across the CPU at any one time. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope this one helps you out, guys. If you've got any problems, then pop on to the Discord server. We can help out over there. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, 
hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.